So the whole life profile consists of five spheres. Uh, and each is an area of life or potential success. If you think about success, it's not uh, a narrow view of success would be fi just financial success. But this is a much broader view of success that looks at success in five different areas. Each sphere consists of three pairs of paradoxical life competencies. So all the traits here are paradoxical. <coughs> When the paradoxical traits are balanced, success in that area is more likely. We don't give a guarantee. There's a way to remember that. Yeah, yeah. Without balance, uh, any one of the traits can be destructive. So from HA, you all know that, that no trait in and of itself is necessarily a good trait or a positive trait but it's the relationship between those characteristics. And you can, you can also look at the whole life profile as virtues. So no virtue in and of itself is necessarily a good virtue. In fact, it can turn to the opposite or negative thing if it's not balanced. So part of what we do with the whole life profile is can, uh, instill this kind of thinking in which we're, we look at things in a balanced or paradoxical way, rather than a unidirectional. And when people think, for example, okay, I'm going to develop this characteristic or this virtue or whatever, sometimes that's actually counterproductive. And it's counterproductive when it creates a further and further imbalance. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, thinking in a single direction if you think about personal growth or personal development, is counterproductive. Because you never know when it's going to sort of take you astray, when that's going to become extreme and turn into something that's your Achilles heel rather than your greatest strength. And if we're coaching and working with people in terms of coaching, we have to be mindful of that. Okay? Because there may be sort of an immediate payoff, but a later uh, payment that's made by that imbalance, or, or difficulty created from the person by that imbalance. So we look at five different spheres in this case. Uh, we look at mental balance, or you could call it psychological health. Psychological health uh, would be uh, the first sphere. Uh, you could then look at relationship health or relationship integrity. You could look at uh, the next one would be physical health. The next one is financial security or financial health. And the last one is spiritual clarity or spiritual health. We'll explain what that means in more detail. Okay. So there's five basic areas of life. And the concept here is that uh, it's important to be successful in all of those areas of life, not, not just one. In a lot of our societies, we greatly emphasize the financial health. Okay. What's interesting is even in those societies, most people struggle with that a lot. Okay. But, uh, but if you look at health or well-being, you need to look at it as a whole. This has come about from our experience. We've been involved with a lot of different groups of people who do different things. You know, I've been uh, involved with groups of people who are very strongly pursuing the financial well-being. Okay? And those people often end up with a lot of problems themselves. They, get, they, they start you know, getting... Uh, more successful, if they do, get more successful, and they, then they start to think, what am I doing anyway? What's the, what's the purpose of all this? What's the value? And I hear people all the time say, I got more and more successful and more and more unhappy. Yeah. All the time. Uh, and then, then, you know, I worked a lot with groups of people. We just looked at the psychological health. 
And then we would, they try to do everything through psychological help. They do, you know, uh, if, if somehow was, if we could somehow get your mind, you know, your psychology in the right place, that this would somehow fix everything. And what we found is those people have a lot of problems. They have a lot of physical problems. Some of them have a lot of financial problems, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, the relationships tend to be pretty good. They tend to work well out with the psychological part. So there's huge areas that would be missing in that as well. We worked with other whole groups of people who would be very much focused on the physical health. They would have a lot of relationship problems, they had a lot of, a lot of psychological issues. Okay. And then other groups of people, we've been involved with different spiritual groups of people who focus entirely there, they end up with a lot of financial problems and a lot of health problems. Okay. Uh, and this is basically through, you know, an over-focus on one area. And, you know, in our society, we like to sort of segment everything. We like to say, okay, if you've got, you know, a headache or whatever, you go to the doctor. You know, if you've got a physical problem, you go to the doctor. If you have a mental problem, you go to the psychologist. If you have a spiritual problem, you go to your minister or priest or monk or what, what, whatever you have. And, you, you know, if you have a relationship problem, you go to your marriage counselor. And the assumption is here that all these are different things. In fact, each is approached completely different, as if it had nothing to do with the rest of it. 